M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtail RT4D. Someone asked me to add a hotspot and a repeater to the, you know, using the software. Okay, so here we are. I'll put a link in for the software, download it, open it up, and you get this zip here. Okay, you get this program here. So when it first opens up, it looks like this, which is quite scary. Um, but anyway, so if we just put in here, your DMR number would go here, 2341437 seven and then you put your radio name there m0 fxb okay actually better to be in capitals isn't it so m0 fxb so that's important and that's under device tab the first tab then go over to channel you're going to need to start putting in the frequency so we're at channel tab channel number one and we're going to put in we're going to put in 431.550 that's my hotspot click tx frequency now if it's a repeater remember you have to add you know you have to add a different frequency because they receive and transmit on different frequencies the type so if we keep this as digital because it is my hotspot uh, my hotspot's in the room so i'll do the power low uh, and then we're not going to do the scan and we've got to give it a name channel alias just basically means what's the name so we go hotspot and then at the bottom, if you hit these right arrows, it doesn't open another window. What it does, it just opens up the bottom here. OK, and so receive group list. We're not using that at the moment, but contacts, you do need to create a contact. Uh, you can choose your DMR slot one or two, which is basically which half of the channel do you want to use. And hotspots use what's called a color code. So they're that's like CTCSS and they tend to be number one on hotspots on number three on many repeaters. But you do need to check with your repeater keeper timeout will leave off that means you can talk forever and allow transmit that's obvious so that will allow you to transmit okay so we got that one set up but you can't just create a channel um, there's two things you've got to do you've got to create contacts so that when you transmit it will transmit on that contact so at the moment it just says all call but we don't want all call we want it, it has to be to a specific talk group so on in contacts tab just here hit that and then we're going to create one on, on number two here so we'll call it it's a group call which means normal talk group if it's private it's more of a command or an individual which they're using the word individual call that's private okay so you want group call the alias give it a name so for example ww is worldwide and this is the important one it's the number it's 91 talk group 91 because that's so important because it's a bit like a phone number. You get your DMR ID number, that's your phone number. And then the talk groups get their number, which is 91. And there's thousands, as you know. We'll create one more. We just go to group call. We'll call this one chat, chat, which is tends to be 2350. 2350. If you do 2351, that's like CQ UK. So you've created a couple of contacts here. So now if we go back to our channel, this time in contact so channel tab contact we can choose chat you see what i mean you're choosing when you transmit what it's going to transmit on so that's good but then the next thing is is we have to put it into a zone because when you when you're selecting channels on a radio on a dmr radio you have to go into a zone a zone is like a group so you could call the zone if we go to zone here we can name the zone so this one here we could call it for this zone I could just call it hotspot, okay? So hotspot. So only put my hotspots in there. It's up to you what you put in there. And the next one I could call it repeaters. And the next one I could call it PMR channels, you know? You get the idea. And GMRS if it does it. So I think it will. Remember, this does do airbound broadcast radio as well. So now when you're in the hotspot, when the hotspot is highlighted, yeah, okay, you can add that channel now into that pot. So if we go to repeaters at the moment, there's nothing in that pot. So but when you change pots, you know, groups, you have to add what's in it. So what we're going to do now is go back to channel. And because all the channels are always in one long list and then you pick from that where they're going to go. So the, the next one, let's do GB3 BC, GB3 Bravo Charlie. This is an analog channel, not digital. So GB3 Bravo Charlie. Uh, oh, sorry, I put that in the wrong place. So put the frequency in 145.750. Then the input, which is 145.150. Okay. And it's an analog channel. See, analog. 
choose the power. So that one I would use outside, so I'm gonna use that as high. I'm not gonna create scan list, but here I can give it a name. So I can go GB3, GB3 Bravo Charlie. And if I hit the extra arrows down here, we can start putting in our CTCSS. Now we only need it on transmit. So I'm gonna choose 94.8. Yeah, um, allow TX, yes. Bandwidth, wide or narrow, it's up to you. Uh, we don't need timeout, receive AM and or FM, that's quite good. But anyway, if it was airband, we'd choose AM. So that's good. Don't know what mute code means, but anyway, that's there. So we've created another channel, but we definitely need to put it into a zone. So we go to our zone. We go to repeaters and we click the one we just created, select the channel from a long list, add. So now if we go to the zone number one, we've only got our hotspot in there. If we go to zone number repeaters, we've only got our repeater in there. You get the idea. If I create a zone here called airband, air, it's actually quite a good code plug this, uh, airband. Now let me create an airband channel. So I go back to channel. And um, the one I use is 133.8530, receive only, of course, and it duplicates it automatically. It's analog. Uh, doesn't matter about the power because you're not going to transmit. So we'll call it airband. You can hit the extra arrows. It's not going to transmit anyway. So I might as well just turn that. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not going to transmit anyway. So, but look, it says here AM or FM, but we can use AM. Okay. And, um, that's it. Allow TX, channel free. I'm not really sure what those other things are. Um, oh, I see now. You can tell it to only TX when when someone's not talking. I see what that is. Forget receiver trans. So we've now got an airband. So we go back to zone. Go to our airband zone. Did we save it? No, we didn't save that. So we'll just put in the words airband. Okay. And then we can now add that channel into airband. So I know there's only one channel in each one, but you know, you can add, look, looking at this, 200. So in airband, we've got one channel. In repeaters, we've got one. In hotspot, we've got one. We haven't done any for PMR yet. So PMR would be just for example, four, four, this is just an example, yeah? 446, 446, four, four, analog, and then we'll call that PMR1. It's not correct, but we'll call it PMR1. And then you can do CTCSS and all the usual stuff if you need to. So then we can go back to zone, hit PMR, and then we can put that PMR into that zone. So we've now got a channel. Now, the idea is you've got 20, 30, 40 channels in each one. You know, you can hopefully there's a way of copying and pasting. So once you've done that and you, you can save, you can go, you can click the save here and it will open up a new thing. It saves it as a, for our DMF file, we'll go to my documents and just give it a name. So I'm going to call it RT4DD and then save. So I can bring that in now. I can go file, open, look for it in my documents. There it is there, open and all that stuff's going to be there. And also, and I would say then say just, it's just going to do a bit of a, see the way it's spinning now. That's computers for you. So then you can just go right to radio. You've got these read and write. So you go right to radio to select your COM port. It's just here, look, port. When you connect your software, you need to just right click on your device manager and just make sure you know what COM port you're on. That's pretty basic. Um, you know, you need the cable. I haven't, I'm not able to check to see if the USB-C will actually program. It does have a twin pin connector on the side. And they, there is a cable that comes with it. We'll see when the radio arrives and if you look there should be some i can't really see the settings have a look here we've got contacts that you know about the received group lists is another way of grouping uh channels for, for search and encryption fm radio dtmf message and time and device so are these the only settings i've noticed there that it hasn't saved my my dmr number that's probably i wonder why that is so let's just put that in there zero fx B and the number two, three, four, one, four, four, three, seven. Let's just save that. File, save. Save it in the same place. 
Okay, yes. All right, so let me just file, open, and just double, do you want to see if it saved it? Oh yeah, it's there now, so I don't know what happened. Maybe I, I click the other folder. So yeah, I think it's fascinating. Just send it to your radio, and I think that's enough for this video. Bye for now. Uh, you know, lots to learn. Sorry if my little picture was in the way a bit, but you can see, you can pretty much see it. Bye.